Battle for Azeroth Weekly News Episode 2. In today's news, we'll discuss everything that is news in World of Warcraft for the week of April 16 through April 23. Stick around. If you want to fill your pockets with gold, be an expert in any profession, and dominate the Battle for Azeroth, hammer that subscribe button now and slam on that bell icon for instant updates. The Remote Auction House Retirement will take place on April 18, 2018. And if you would like to know more about this issue and have not already watched the Battle for Azeroth Weekly News Episode 1, Check out the card above and watch it for yourself. This week, a goblin pet trainer named Ref Ref took to Twitter and shared a few of the most important things that he felt worth doing in preparation for Battle for Ezra. Battle pets are, of course, this goblin's main goal, and here are the ones that he suggested stocking up on now for resale in Battle for Azeroth. The Nightmare Whelpling, which is a 1% drop from Yashandra in Emerald Nightmare Raid. Fossarel Bile Larva, which is a very low drop rate from skinning mobs in Argus. So if you're skinners, go ahead and get, get started on that. The Rebellious Imp, with a 6% drop rate from Mother Rosala in Argus. Now, this rare is on a daily lockout, and it does take a few minutes to farm up what you need to summon this mob each time. Thistle Leaf Adventurer, which is a rare drop from the Dream Reavers provision box from doing the Dream Reavers emissary quest. Trigger which is crafted by engineers and cost 50 blood of Sargeras. If you're an engineer, I would highly suggest using this as your source for uh, using up those extra bloods. The Wormen Tunken reward from Legion Archaeology. This is a quest chain that is only available for a two-week period every 26 weeks making this essentially a holiday pet that will be forgotten after Legion ends, but it will be more valuable at that time as well. The Fell Lasher, a rare drop from Argus Herbalism nodes, and these herbs will have no notable use once Legion ends, making it a very rare for anyone to bother to farm these pets, making them super rare and super expensive then. At the moment, they are a little bit on the cheap side, so I'd highly suggest buying those up. Also, if you are a um, an herbalist, I would highly suggest going ahead and gathering all the herbs you can from uh, this expansion and stockpiling those. And if you're wondering why, in the very near days to come, I'll be posting a video as to why each and every herb, ore, leather, all materials will be high demand in Legion. Now, the Eye of the Inquisitor <clears throat> has a less than 1% drop rate from the Fell So in Inquisitor in Saramar and the Sting Ray Pup Conjure Maragos, the fishing vendor in Dalaran, is where you would get that, and it requires reputation to buy and a fishing currency only obtainable from fishing in Dalaran. So go ahead and grab your fishing pole and head on out. Now, the companion pet version requires reputation to learn. Only buy the Battle Pet version. Because if you don't, it's going to be useless to anyone without the reputation. The Orphaned Fell Bat has a 5% drop from the Legion Fall Paragon Chest for every 10,000 rep 
after you get exalted. The Ghost Shark sold from Alicia of the Waters, the fishing vendor in Azuna, which requires reputation, and the vendor and fishable currency are on a daily rotation. So it's only possible to get this once or twice a week. Take, and it does take a decent amount of time to go ahead and obtain that pet. Also, currently, the voice chat is now available in the alpha. So the alpha testers, be sure to go ahead and check that out as well. Now, that's going to do it for this week's Battle for Azeroth Weekly News. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you soon in Azeroth.